Do you want to know how much money I made in April 2024 selling on Amazon? Well, stay tuned to find out. Hi, my name's Simon. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller here in the UK. And today we'll be going over, in just a minute anyway, how much I made on Amazon. And more specifically, how much I made after my expenses, which is most, the most important thing, really. So what do I actually make? And it gives you a kind of a rough idea, what well, a pretty good idea of exactly how much money I've made. So before we go into that, I just want to say that um, all of these come from me doing generally uh, online arbitrage. So a lot of people ask me, you know, Simon, how do you make X amount of money per month? What kind of strategy are you using? You know, are you doing wholesale? That's actually a question I get a lot is like, do you do wholesale? And the answer is I know I've never done a single item of wholesale. 99% of the items that I buy are online arbitrage and about 1% is retail arbitrage. And you know, when we get towards Q4, that does skew a little bit more to RA, retail arbitrage. But in general, you know, over the year, it's probably 97% OA, 3% RA, something around those kind of figures basically. So I'm not doing anything massively special. Um, I'm just doing, you know, I just basically got good at two or three different categories, um, learn the sales cycles, learn the websites, learn the brands, learn the products, learn the prices and learn how long I need to hold the stock for before it's, you know, the price comes back or it sells out. And that's just essentially what I've done. So nothing too fancy, really, but you've got to put the work in and learn this stuff to uh, be successful. I mean, that's the way I do it anyway. There are guys out there that are more generalists and sell anything and everything. But for me, I found it's best to try and, you know, focus down on, you know, one or two or three different sort of categories. But yeah, but there's many ways to do this, guys. You know, I'm just one guy with one way of doing it. There are many ways to make money on Amazon. And yeah, this is not necessarily the best way or the easiest way um, or the fastest way, but it's the way that I do it. So before we move on to exactly how much I made, I just want to say... Now, before we actually move on to exactly how much money I've made this month, I need to mention my sponsor, Profit Protector Pro. Now, Profit Protector Pro has really actually helped me reach these figures that we'll get into in just a minute, I promise, guys. And, you know, I've been using this now for three to four weeks. And, you know, PPP, Profit Protector Pro, has been absolutely fantastic. As you can see here on my dashboard, it's made me an extra nearly £1,300 over the, uh, the buy box. So that is Profit Protector Pro really pushing the prices up above the buy box, above the minimum, and getting me extra sales. And the thing I love about PPP is it's just how easy it is to set up. You've got all these different algorithmic strategies that you can choose from. And using this, you can basically, you know, decide what your kind of default strategy is. I use the um, Cautious Sale Enhancer, which you can see here. You can read about what that does. But you can choose any of these strategies for any of your listings. So there's no need to set up really complicated rules and things like that. You can basically just set whatever strategy you want and uh, let it do its thing, basically. So if you guys want to sign up to Profit Protector Pro, please check out the link in the description. And now let's move on to exactly how much money I made in April 2024. So here we go, guys. We can see these are my seller toolkit uh, figures. So we've got £8,865 in profit and just shy of £40,000 in sales with a 62% ROI and 540 units. So I'll be honest, guys, I was a little bit disappointed with this. I do realise this is basically still like 100000 a year. And my goal this year is to make £100,000, by the way, guys, if you don't know, you haven't watched any of my previous videos. So we're kind of on target for that. However, when the month started, it was a really um, strong month. I was looking at around 11 to 12K profit, actually, for this month based on the, you know, sort of first few weeks. But then things really slowed down in the third week of April. It was actually a terrible week, really. Um, and then, then things did pick up a little bit in the last week of April. But we had a bit of a dip there, which has kind of hurt my results a little bit. Um, but yeah, in the first sort of two weeks of April, my one well, of my best day was a six hundred and seventy pound profit, which is kind of crazy. That's the biggest day I think I've ever had, maybe out of Q four. But then my worst day was somewhere around a hundred, one hundred and twenty pounds, um, and that was in like the third week of April. So not you know, so you, yeah, this is how it works basically. You get some slow times, you get some fast times, but yeah. Um, you can never uh, know exactly what's going to happen. So that's, you know, what you can see is the kind of raw figures. And what we've got here is some more uh, detailed figures. We have the total number of fees that I had from FBA. So we spent £150 on transportation. 
We had some return fees of £24, removal 27 some €170 Euros of return fees, some storage fees, things like that, basically. So, um, and then on the right-hand side, we can see, actually, once you take all those things off, we actually drop down from, what was it, 8865 down to about 8541 so £8,500. Not too bad. However, guys, we still have some more fees, and not fees, but we have some more expenses to take off. So we can't just look at this. Um, we have to be realistic and throw in all the other fees that I have. And what we can see here is we've done that. So I've taken that figure of 8541. And the very first thing is my VA cost. So I've recently hired a new VA, which I'm sharing with three other people. That's why the cost is so low. Um, so we're splitting that. It's uh, we're paying twenty five thousand Filipino pesos, which is like th I think what three seventy or something like that. I can't remember exactly. It changes every day, and obviously a quarter of that is eighty six. So eighty six pound fifty subscription fee. So you know this is a, well, probably one of the biggest fees for me right now. Is I'm paying nearly five hundred pound in subscriptions. So I uh, use a lot of different softwares like Profit Protected Pro, which I've mentioned before. I use Seller Toolkit. Um, I've ditched the Seller Toolkit repricer now and moved into PPP, Profit Protector Pro. Um, so that saved me some money and that will come off next month. Uh, what else do I do? I use loads of different softwares, guys. And if you want to see what softwares and, and groups I'm in, you can check out all the links in the description. And I've got some discount codes in there, some exclusive disc discount codes um, and things like that for various bits of software and services and Discord groups. So prep fees, not too bad, £40. I didn't really utilise the prep centre too much this month. I am definitely going to be utilising the prep centre more. Um, for those of you that have watched my... I think I mentioned it in... Actually, it was in Nikos's vlog, um, or podcast, I should say. I do a podcast with Nikos Marco every two weeks. And Anyway, um, I had a theft in my business premises, and I had three parcels stolen. So I'm now having to be more cautious about having items delivered here and um, you know sending items from here. So I'm going to be moving way more to Prep Center. This is the kind of kick in the butt I needed anyway. So you know I lost probably about 150, 200 pounds. I'm not sure exactly. I'm not added up because it kind of annoys me that they were stolen. But yeah, I had some guy come in and steal two parcels from me on a Sunday, and then they came back on a Monday and stole some more stuff from me. But I actually did get reimbursed for that that second one from Amazon. Um, so not too bad there. But yeah, that's kind of given me the kick in the pants to move more to a prep centre. I do have a storage unit. So yeah, or I can use my storage unit, which I've got, which is kind of full though. So I've got my storage unit, which I pay. And I totally, I apologise guys, last month I totally forgot to add the storage unit cost in there. So I've added it in this month, you know. So I've got so many fees and things that I, and things that I pay for, I sometimes forget to add uh, one or two things. So... You know, it's not obviously going to make a huge difference, but in full transparency, which is why I like to be fully transparent and try and add on every cost that I have on there. So and I'm sure there's one or two that I've still forgotten, but it won't be more than 50 or 100 pounds. So, yeah, so we've got 230 in storage unit and 30 of that is the insurance, actually, which is you know expensive for storage units. And then uh, we've got a little bit of top cash back. Nothing too crazy this month. I do have a bunch pending. So hopefully that will get confirmed and you know paid out for next month or month after. So the top cash back, by the way, guys, if you don't use top cash back, I've got a link in description. Sign up. It's just a great way to make extra money on top of what you're doing with uh, Amazon. I don't count it normally in my sort of day to day profits. I obviously do throw it on at the end of the month here just to show you guys. But um, yeah, I don't factor it into like my profits when I'm buying a product. So, you know, but it's just uh, icing on the cake, basically. And sometimes you get more, sometimes you get less, sometimes it gets declined. You know, that's why you can't really rely on it, you know, uh, for profit on your items. But it's just a nice little thing. No more Tide cashback. I probably should just remove that from the spreadsheet because that's disappeared now. That loophole with Tide has gone. Um, and yeah, no more cashback there. And about £200 in Amex points. So a little bit less this month in terms of the spend on Amex. But um, yeah, I need to get back onto it really this month. And that gives us a total profit of £8,306. So not too bad really. And let's just say we factor in some other costs that I've just totally forgotten. Call it around £8,000. So not too bad really. And I'll definitely get some refunding, guys. So. 
you know, realistically, um, these these figures are never never going to stay the same. You know, as people have bought stuff this month, refunds are going to come in now, and you know, um, yeah, it'll probably come down a little bit. So you know, you might go down to seven and a half thousand, something like that. So, but yeah, let's switch back to the main camera anyway. So that kind of gives you an idea of you know, I've been doing Amazon for two years now, nearly two years. I think my very first sale was June or July twenty twenty two. I think, yes, yeah, sixth of July twenty twenty two. I think so, nearly two years now, and these are the kind of figures that I'm doing and. To be honest, I need to be pushing this harder. I want to be doing 10,000 profit per month every month, and I keep missing that. But my goal this year right now was to make £100,000. And I'll do a follow-up video maybe just showing my actual... In fact, what I'll do is I'll post it on the screen anyway. So I'll edit in and post and show my progress for the year. I think we're around 32,000, 33,000 for the year. Um, I've taken a big dip in terms of refunds that have come in, which is a bit of a shame, but nothing you can do about that. It's part of the game with Amazon, and I've got a big pile of refunds I need to deal with as well, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. That's part of the game. That's the one downside, or the couple of the downsides of doing Amazon anyway. But yeah, 100,000 was my goal this year. I think I'm on track to still hit it, but it's going to be tight. I'm not going to lie. But hopefully with Q4, though, you know, um, I should absolutely smash it. But, you know... Ne things never stay the same with Amazon, so you can't rely on, uh, you know, on one strategy to last forever. So we'll have to see what happens. But yeah, guys, um, I'm aware right now that I'm on target for 100,000, um, and I really need to be pushing things a little bit more, getting to 10,000 profit per month, make that a really solid thing that happens every month, kind of without fail, and then start pushing that up to 15 and 20. 20 is kind of my ultimate goal um, in terms of what I want to make. Uh, I'll be very happy at 20,000 per month. Um, Obviously, you know, obviously, um, but yeah, so that's kind of where I'm looking to get. And yeah, the only way I can get there now is by working harder and buying more stock and learning new things and new categories and new sourcing methods and, you know, doubling down on what I'm doing. And I did, I was actually, I'm sorry, this is going on a bit longer than expected, but you know, you guys might be interested anyway, but I definitely ran out of some stock this month on some really good replans and they were out of stock on the website and I just couldn't get them in. So, and they've actually come back in now, so it's fine. Um, but I need to order more when I, you know, so that I can last the month basically, or last as long as I need to before uh, I can restock them. So, that's another lesson that I've learned. Keeping replans in can be a bit of a chore, especially when you've got quite a few of them. Um, you know, and it's a real shame to then go out of stock on something that consistently makes you money. So, that probably factored in a little bit into costing me a bit of money as well. So, you know, kind of an unforgivable uh, thing on Amazon is to go out of stock when you can <laughs> order new stuff or, you know, when you've got a replen, but it happens anyway. So I'm learning. I'm not, you know, not perfect. But yeah, guys, anyway, hopefully that is a interesting video for you guys. Uh, again, please uh, sign up to Profit Tech Pro if you want to get a awesome repricer for Amazon. Um, it's the one that I use and hopefully this video inspired you guys and you can see what, you know, what I've done in less than two years. I'm now basically making a hundred thousand pound a year profit, you know, obviously we'll factor in taxes and things like that, but you know, it's still a pretty good wage. So not too bad really. And obviously things are only going to go up, hopefully anyway, you know, sky's the limit with Amazon. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.